Right. Uh, here we go. So, um, hello everybody, and welcome back to the channel. So, so now, guys, there's a particular phenomenon that I've been noticing ever since Tinubu was elected president of Nigeria. Uh, I've been noticing this with increasing frequency. Uh, what is that phenomenon? That phenomenon seems to be um, the Yoruba uh, race, especially the lead space, the leadership of the Yoruba race. They seem to be romanticizing somewhat with the Southeasterners, trying to placate switch them. Uh, I, I've been noticing this uh, with increasing frequency, uh, like I said, ever since Tenobu uh, uh, became president. And uh, uh, no lesser person, a uh, champion in that uh, space has been the owner of FIFA. Uh, so, so now, guys, uh, let, 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 let's walk ourselves through this video. Uh, this video is not what I am basing that assertion on. This video is the latest incursion of what seems to be now a deliberate orchestrated move. Uh, to assuage the, the Southeasterners. And part of that, by the way, was uh, uh, how Tedobo paid for Christmas for the Southeasterners, uh, giving them free transport back home and back to their bases wherever in the country. So off the back of the uh, off the back of that, uh, let's let's watch this. Uh, let's watch this. Uh, so this is the owner of FIFA now uh, speaking to the Igbo race. The world of the spiritual world, that's the world of divinity, existed several thousands of years before humanity. One of the world of divinity is Aji, in which in Ife, it has been from time immemorial, before creation of humanity, it has been like that, in terms of celebration of wealth. But to the glory of God, a particular race actually discovered it first. And the truth be told, the race that first discovered prosperity and wealth, and they really nurtured it, are the Igbo race. So, so there it is right there. You heard from the great man himself. The race that first discovered uh, prosperity and wealth are the Igbo race. So, so that's quite a statement to make by somebody uh with the seniority and occupying the position that the owner of FIFA occupies. So the race that first discovered prosperity are the Igbo race. I, I'm sure the Jewish people will have something to say about that, uh, but uh, this is the assertion now. So why is he making that assertion? He coming from a Yoruba pantheon. So uh, a, a Yoruba pantheon. So, so now that can only now be uh, uh, deliberate moves by the Yoruba space uh, to assuage the Southeasterners in order to let Tenobu govern in peace. And we have been seeing uh, little, little, little snippets of this, uh, which is now, uh, which is now uh, coming with increasing frequency. As I already referred to, uh, Tenobu paying for Christmas for the Southeasterners, which was essentially what it did, giving them free transport uh, back home and back to their bases. And now the owner of FIFA telling us now that uh, uh, the, 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 the home source of prosperity and wealth are the Igbo people. So this is what the owner of FIFA is saying. Let me, let me take it back a third and then we listen on. And wealth. And they really talk. The race that first discovered prosperity and wealth and they really nurtured it are the Igbo race. The Igbos first discovered it through their ancestral background, the lineage of Obatala, discovered the prosperity. So that, that's a second assertion now that the Oni is making right there. So the, uh, the Oni by his assertion uh, uh, the Igbos come uh, from the lineage of uh, Obatala. That is the assertion that the owner of Ife has made. So we have to investigate that to see where that narrative is coming from. So what the Oni, uh, in just that little uh, throwaway comment right there, what the owner of Ife is, uh, is saying is that the, uh, the Igbo race, they are, they are actually an offshoot of the wider Yoruba uh, hegemony. So that's what he's saying. 
because if you are saying that they come from the Obatala line, uh, lineage, and, and the Obatala lineage is the very stock that foundations the Yoruba hegemony, if you are saying the Igbos are an offshoot of that, then that, that is to tell you then that by the Ornis reckoning, the Igbo people are actually an offshoot of the Yoruba people. Uh, but let's listen on. Let me take it back just a tad again uh, so we get the fullness of what it's saying. The lineage of Obatala discovered the prosperity and wealth in terms of the divinity world. And that's the reason why today the race of Igbo people, they're very, very particular and they have very good expertise when it comes to commerce. They are very distinct all over the world. There is no place in the world that you will go that you won't find. And the same with the Jews. There is this mistake that the world usually make. They make this mistake that the Igbos came from the Jews. No, it is the other way around. The truth be told, the first human race that existed was the Igbos before the Jews. And oh, 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 all right. So there's actually already a conflation in just now uh, within the last three, four minutes that the only uh, has been speaking. The first race that existed, even predating uh, uh, the the Jewish people, are the Igbos. But then the Igbos also come from the lineage of uh, Obatala. So how they all tie together is something we have to investigate. But then, of course, it is a narrative of romanticizing with the Southeasterners in order to placate and settle them down are fortunable to govern in peace. And that is what the echelons of the Yoruba space are doing now. We saw that with the Christmas giveaway, and now, now this now somewhat um uh, I, I don't want to I don't know what the invective to use to uh, let me say somewhat surprising pronouncements by the Orni, uh, but let's listen. And we were all living together at the center of tropical rainforest, which is the art of the whole thing. The land of expansion. We were all living together as one big happy family before. Before they started moving clockwise, they started moving towards the eastern part of the world, where they started settling. So the race of the Jews and the Igbos are very similar, but the Igbos are way older than the Jews. And by the way, this narrative of somewhat linking the Southeasterners to Jewish people, uh, this is a narrative that has been subsisting for quite a long time, and to the point that the uh, Israelis, the actual real Jewish people, they sent a team to the Southeast to do a DNA test to, to, to determine once and for all if there's any sort of link there. Not one single trace in terms of DNA traces uh, and uh, to, to, the, to the Jewish people or forms that linkage. So it's very much an urban, uh, an urban myth, this narrative. But then, of course, the only is just lumping everything together uh, for a feel-good uh, factor for the Southeasterners. This is a, this is a PR uh, output by the only. That's the only way to say it. They are both commercially driven. They are both enterprise in nature. They are both driven by wealth because that is their ancestral belief. That's the race they belong to. In Nigerian economy today and the entire black race, if you don't give honor to the Igbos in terms of commerce and trade, you are just deceiving yourself. So the truth be told, let us go back to our history, where we all came from. Ideally, the Igbos are supposed to join us to celebrate this festival because it belongs to them and the entire human race and the Yoruba race. We are just the custodian because at some point we are all... Uh, and by the way, uh, uh, the, the only was speaking during the Ajay festival. Uh, Ajay, of course, means um, industry, wealth, uh, enterprise, everything. So there's a particular festival that celebrates that. So that's where the only was speaking.
all living together here. So let us realize what connects us. What connects us is more important than, than what brings us, that separates us. This is one of the major things that connects us together. So I want to use this medium of this festival to reach out to them, for them to dig out more fact about their history, the main scholars in Igbo land, to fact find their roots and ascertain the fact that we were all living together as one big happy family. And Igbos, they don't joke with color not. Fact find their roots and ascertain the fact that we were all living together as one big happy family. And Igbos, they don't joke with color not. And we use color not to appease the spirit of our So, so there it is right there. So that was the only somewhat trying to assuage the Southeasterners uh, with that uh, particular output. That, that can not color as anything other than a PR exercise. But let's see uh, what reactions there are to that. It says that uh, Igbos are the first race to discover prosperity and wealth, or Neofife claims Yoruba, uh, Yorubas react. So let's go to what the reactions are. Um, Oh, let me just give you the fullness of this readout. Um, a major conversation has erupted online as some comments are made by the Nigerian first class monarch, the only of Ife, Oba Editon, Adeyeye Ogunwesi, about the Igbos uh, went viral online. In a viral clip, the only made some comments that did not sit well with many within the Yoruba uh, community. Uh, so, Adioni uh, Onfife, during an interview, had claimed that the Eagles were the first race in the world to discover wealth and prosperity. He noted that the Eagle race did so through their ancestral background, the lineage of Obatala, a Yoruba demigod or Orisha. So, uh, Adioni Onfife, during the interview, also spoke about the Eagle race and their connection uh, with the Jewish people. He stated categorically during the interview that the Jewish people originated from the Igbo race and not the other way around. The uh, uh, Oba Eneto went further to state that the Igbo race is older and has been around long before uh, Jewish people. These comments by the Oni of Ife are coming days after the Oba of Benin had claimed that his ancestors were the founders of Lagos. So uh, it goes on to show us that clip. Uh, so reactions, uh, we are yet to be able to resolve the argument between the Edos and the Yorubas. Oh, New Fife is coming up with the Jews and the Igbo. So that's uh, obviously a Yoruba tonality. Another one, uh, I'm not going to read out their names because people come up with all these funky names on our social media. Uh, many small minds will doubt him. First of, uh, and I'm, I'm I'm inviting you then to to um to guess the ethnicity of the commentators as I am reading out their comments. So the first one, like I said, we are yet to be able to resolve the argument between the Edos and the Yorubas. Or your Fife is coming up with the Jews and the uh, with the Jewish people and the Eagles. So that's the first commentator. The second one, many small minds will doubt him. First of all, you have to understand that. A uh, white race can never reproduce black race, but black race over time will reproduce white race. Uh, there are evidence today. So that one somewhat backs the narrative that Jewish people originated from the Igbo people. Our next commentator tell them, Igbos are the king of the Yoruba. So guess uh, where, which ethnicity that is. Next commentator, I hope Yoruba Ronu can listen to the honor of affair and get the message loud and clear. Cause all most of you guys know is how to insult people. I hope you guys also insult him, since many of you have no respect whatsoever for elders anymore. So guess where that's coming from? Uh, which of the Jewish people, the one in the Bible, are being normal ones on the street? So this is another commentator. All these obas and onis waiting their smoke this week. Uh, next commentator, these obas and kings won't let us rest with their myth, myths. 
I, I don't think the Jewish people originated from the Igbo tribe, maybe the other way around. Uh, next one, actually in history, Igbos are the lost race of the Jews. There is a connection there. Uh, next one, uh, I, I, I don't, I'm not quite sure what this first word is. Uh, waiting this over the smoke now, all of them just the yarn rubbish unprovoked. So that, that uh, and, uh, let me give you one last one. Uh, does he want to take an Igbo wife? I mean, is he patronizing us? So there it is. Uh, the uh, the only of you actually has an Igbo wife. So so uh, I think that's not far off the mark, but that's already uh, speaking to something that is already passed. So there it is, the only of affair, somewhat pandering and sending white doves to the east. And, and as I said, this is something that is uh, somewhat gaining currency now with the Yoruba space somewhat caught in the, uh, the southeastern space with flowery language. So this is a space we'll continue to monitor. So come share thoughts about all this in the comment section. Am I misreading this or is there something to it? Our conversations in the comment section and leave it here. Carry that conversation on with you in the comment section. But here I say peace.